walking across the sands of southeastern Arizona, the giant desert hairy scorpion. It's the largest scorpion in North America. In this arid environment, the desert hairy searches for its prey. Small lizards, crickets, even the tarantula. The local tarantula is a species known as the desert blonde. A tarantula's eyesight is rudimentary, not nearly keen enough to spot the partially concealed scorpion. Gripping the log with its tiny claws, the tarantula manages an escape. It's a warm, windless night. Perfect hunting conditions for the desert scorpions. But for this tarantula, it's like navigating a minefield. On a night like this, its only hope is to find refuge in a burrow of its own. The desert hairy tunes into its surroundings, waiting to sense the smallest vibration. A slight motion behind it prompts an attack. Resistance is quashed with a quick injection of venom. The scorpion maneuvers the tarantula to consume it head first. Although a burrow is preferable, every once in a while a scorpion may decide to stretch its legs. This giant desert hairy is one of few species known to venture out for food. Like all scorpions, the desert hairy is able to detect prey using the incredibly sensitive hairs on its legs. Even a mealworm's subtle movements create vibrations through the ground. The hairs act like sophisticated sensors, picking up the tiny waves. As the grains of sand shift, the waves hit the hairs of each leg at slightly different intervals. This information is processed quickly, telling the scorpion the direction and exact distance of its prey. This mealworm may as well be holding a flashing neon sign. With such a lethal skill set, a scorpion rarely needs to venture far from its burrow. Whether it's an ambush or an attack, the hunt is only the beginning. Armed with weapons of destruction, the method scorpions use to kill their prey varies from species to species.